Before we get started today, I first wanted to thank you for clicking on the video and let you know that today's episode might be a little short. I had a very busy week last week and I was out of town for the weekend, so I wasn't able to get much done, but I still have a video for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Hello everybody and welcome back to a Minecraft Let's Play, where today we are going to work on our farm situation. Now I don't mean tree farm and I don't mean raid farm because, get out of here, because I had done raids last episode, as you can see down there, and we're, we were halfway successful, but if you didn't catch last episode, that's what we did right here. Today, we are going to be trying to improve our crop farm situation. I don't really care about animal farms in this game. There's not too much that I need in terms of, you know, all that. So the reason I want to dedicate an episode to my crop farms is I would like to get three levels farms so I can exclusively farm three crops and i'm thinking a vertical formation now i want to do it as a part of the house but i'm not a hundred percent percent i'm not a hundred percent i'm not a hundred percent sure at where i want to add it on you see there's a few areas in my house that i could add it on but i think the one that makes the most sense is if i add it on right here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna i guess i can wait until this well no no because i'm also recording this i'm pre-recording this so i want to do this in one whole how do you say segment oh i'm gonna need more diamonds soon but i want to do this in one whole segment so that i can just chop it up when i get home and edit it like i want you know i was sitting here being like what the heck happened turn down my dpi there we go that's better and I accidentally unclicked my steering wheel steering wheel rolling wheel okay that's way too high oh my gosh okay that's way too slow that's a little too low there we go that's just right i was messing around with call of duty black ops 6 earlier and for some reason i can't use my mouse to navigate on there which is weird i can't look up or down with it but yes today's plan is going to be to pick out what's it called Oh, yes, sorry. But yes, today's plan is going to be to modify our farm right here and kind of make it nice. I think I can add a little like corridor area, like a greenhouse thing that goes out here. I don't know how I want to have the addition, but I'm thinking of having maybe a sky bridge or something over here because we don't have much space to work with in terms of the house itself. But what we can do is build a room and build up with a tower like i said i want this build to be kind of like uh an adventure time house of sorts or like uh, the house in a series of unfortunate events if you know that series i want i want it to be ever expanding and getting large and whatnot so that'll be the goal for today while i wait for these to drop saplings i guess i can go ahead and harvest the farm <laughs> I won't be losing any materials, it'll just take a second, so we'll go ahead and harvest this and then we can dig it up and start working. Now I might need more dirt, which I have an idea of where I can get the dirt, but I will need dirt nonetheless. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. If if you uh, if you had to see that on an unedited version, I was just sitting there probably like drooling on my microphone or something. I don't even know at this point, but yes. I'm going to get some dirt from here and we can fill up what we're working on. Well, we can fill up that farm because I'm going to take out that water and then it should automatically do its thing. But I don't know. You never know with this game. Sometimes it takes forever. Sometimes it happens instantly. I also just need dirt in general because we're going to be building up on the farm. And you know what? We're going to keep this tree here. There you go. You know, it's it's a landmark now. I didn't need that much. Well, who knows? I might need that much dirt. I actually might need more if we're being honest. But this way I can plop that down and we can get working on this right before right before I uh, before that. I wanted to make sure I had replanted my trees. So they're growing by the time I finish with this section to start off with things. I'm going to frame this out as I would normally. Now I will lose a little bit of dimension to the house, but I can fix this and make it, you know, something that's nice. I think I I can make it look like a sky bridge of sorts. I don't know if I want to do two, but well, you know, you never know. Just like I said, you know, you never know. Now, one thing I just realized is if I want to do this correctly, I would actually take this in one more because it's already at three out. I just have this on two. Like this is, this is supposed to be a birch log in the future. So what I'll do is I'll leave it like that because I don't want a gaping hole for monsters to come in my house. I guess if I work in a raised platform, monsters won't be coming in 
my house so i guess i can tear this down and i unfortunately don't have silk touch so we're gonna have to bid farewell to this and fall down again hold up beanin had a thought look at that i used my brain and i still can't get up now as much as i want to just turn all of this into planks i'm going to need the log so i can't do that but i can frame this out and i'm going to have to come out a little bit further like this and then add ooh, <laughs> and then add another layer well not layer i guess support right here but luckily with the sky bridge this means that i can take this and this and then i can use can i use oak planks i guess i could i can use oak planks up here i can use oak plank i can use oak plank stairs up here to kind of give myself that little sky bridge arc of arch effect now here's the interesting thing that i'll have to do i'll have to go out three right here have another right up here and then i'll have to come over here do this again but here's the challenge i'll have to figure out what the heck am I going to do for this over here? There's a few routes I can take this. I can go out, but I think what would make more sense is if I go this way and just kind of have it, have this be kind of like a courtyard entrance or exit because I'm not going to waste space on the bottom here. I'm going to use it, but I need to plan and make sure that it doesn't look extremely crazy coming off the side of this mountain. Uh, well, I mean, just because I, I want to build up as much as I want to build out but you know we're kind of limited by building out and i don't know what i was thinking that this when i thought this would be <laughs> doable at least you know at this level but i'm going to and then i'm only going to do this too wide because well i mean the mountain's good enough indicator for why and then this lower floor should not be an issue building oh look at that and then i can go ahead and put this right here yeah look at that okay i don't think i'm going to be able to build down here but i could i could it it's no no let's do it let's do it i want a weird looking house and a weird location so this is what I signed up for. This is what we're going to do. Now, hold on, hold on. It will not be unrealistic. The supports will go all the way down. And I'm out of wood. I knew I should have farmed more. I have no logs. Well, I suppose I could do this the old fashioned way. I'm not too worried about birch. It's oak I'm worried about. I am going to get this tree farm done though. Tree farm. I mean, new farm. A little deforestation never hurt anyone. And I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> And you know what? While I'm down here, I'm going to grab some stone, too, because I definitely need stone. I don't even have to check. I do. Actually, I could use this as an excuse to tunnel through the mountain and tunnel under my house to get something set up so that I have at, I don't know. The original goal was to tunnel through the mountain so that I could get something set up so that I could get some travel methods set up, but that's not going to work with me here. So I'm just going to hold a torch and mine some stone aimlessly like I used to. But in all fairness, I could actually turn this into an iron mine. We are at the level that iron spawns more frequently i'm sorry i misspoke we are at the level at which iron spawns more frequently this has been english with beanin that's probably not even correct i have broken into a cave and an enemy is awaiting me sir sir this is actually a pretty nice cave hey sir get out of here okay now i'm in a cave with a lot of stone so that's okay get out of here yeah, bum. We've made it back out with a lot more iron and even some more coal now. And we have enough wood. Well, we have a good amount of wood that should last us. And there's a witch over here. Don't poison me. Thank you. I'm sorry, pig. Your collateral damage. Wow, what is this freaking boss challenge stair temple? Where do you come from? Go away. I'm to lay myself to sleep like there isn't a gaping hole in my house. I would try to sort my inventory, but honestly, I'm just going to start spending it because I know I'm going to run out. So I might as well save the time and just build this up while I can. I'm not going to fill in this because that's dumb. I will put torches down here. Don't worry, but we're not filling it in. I, If you're new to the channel, you will know or you will soon learn. If you're new to the channel, you will soon learn that I am incredibly cheap when it comes to building. Yes, my builds look expensive. Yes, my builds look expensive, but that's all. They're not actually expensive. And now here's the hardest one. Oh, actually, that's not too terrible. I thought it was going to be a lot further. Like that one over there that killed me. Honestly, Honestly, I'm gonna spend all my logs before before I even have the chance to start building the house. Okay, I lied. I am going to fill this in. 
but I have a reason, okay? I'm gonna bring the sugarcane farm over here so I get more space over there. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird walking around my tree farm area with all of this in the middle. So we're gonna do some rearranging and to maximize efficiency. I don't know if this actually is maximum efficiency, but I just do it. But I'm gonna go for a checkerboard pattern down here so that, you know, I have maximum efficiency and I'm out of dirt. Well, I tell you, this house is probably like an engineer's nightmare. It's on a mountain, doesn't have good supports. I'm taking land away from what little support it does have, but luckily physics only affects sand. Now for the worst part of the build, and I can already hear the comments, bean and just fill up the water and then put the dirt in. Look, I just thought of that now, okay? <laughs> I'm not that skilled at this game. Ugh. Oh. Finally, now we have the much easier task of filling all these in. Now time to harvest this up and move it over there. Luckily, this is a good way to get some torches back too. I need this for this room because it gets really dark with shaders and a bunch of plants in a room. Now call me crazy, but I'm actually going to leave that bottom part open and build my greenhouse sort of thing on the top floors and it looks like that bottom floor is getting spruce for the railing but that's okay i don't care and then i'll leave that one open so i can walk in here double chest i can just throw like right here where'd my shovel go get over here and i know because it's not three messed it up but you know what? it's fine if it's just sitting right there i'll i'll move it eventually actually no that would be a huge mess i was gonna say i could put it right here but nope actually now that i think about it instead of putting it right here where it's going to trip me up what if i just put it right here there you go now i've got a chest for the sugarcane right next to the entrance to the sugarcane farm make sure it's lit up there we go oh that was a perfect amount and now to build this portion of the farm all right let's see if i can make this jump without any damage oh look at that that is an mlg move all right let's see if we can make it from here ah got damage and we already need to go get more wood now we're gonna do this the risky way but it could be very cool if i land it mlg <laughs> okay take two <laughs> yeah <laughs> God, I did not know you could play a game for this long and be this bad at it. Look at this goofy tree. <laughs> it looks like a Chia pet. Oh my God, we're gonna call it the Chia pet tree. No one will ever chop this tree down. And in fact, I might build a display around it. All right, now this should, this should get me over the finish line, at least for the frame and floor. I don't know about all the other stuff. There we go, that got the main part of the frame done. One could say it was called the main frame. Oh, so close, but so far. Okay, this is gonna be really risky, but <laughs> right, let's try this again <laughs> all right we gotta take the slow way down oh no oh i should have seen that coming oh wait nope everything's hanging out that's good guess items don't get pushed no they should get pushed are there any items down here uh let's see actually it looks like i've got everything boom boom why am i picking up everything but the thing i want there we go all right that doesn't look too bad might be a thing or two down here, but I'm not sure. But I guess we've learned our lesson about jumping <laughs> and trying to MLG water bucket. Oh, my pick broke. Wow, that took forever. There we go. And that should leave us enough to make stairs for this bottom section too. Let's see if I've got the right amount. And perfect. All right, now to my birch wood, which I don't think this will get us through the whole build, but it'll get us far enough. Actually, since we're only doing like a limited amount and not doing the entire thing, it might last us. I don't know, we'll have to see. I think I hear a creeper below me. Uh, let's see. Hello, Monsieur Creeper. I think I hear you. I can still hear him. Aha, snakes in the grass, you fool. How about you? Please don't blow up my bridge. Oh gosh, thank you. I can put... Nah, I was gonna say, I could put a tree here, but I don't think that would work. Nice. Okay, we've got all the walls we need. Now let's strip them. But before we do that, let's go grab, where are you? Some glass and some cobblestone. Yeah, I think 54 should be enough. I think it's even. 29 glass panes, that might be a stretch. And the reason I did not fill in this lower part is so that I didn't have to you know, build scaffolding and whatnot out here. I can just go like this and that. There we go. Okay, yeah, I ended up needing more glass. While we wait on that to smelt, let's just strip this wood down to its bare bones. Oh, I just realized I only need what needed one more pane. And I think just to be safe, I'm gonna need more 
beep slate as well. I'm not gonna do a crazy roof on this one. I'm just going to match that one out through the end or match it into here and then have like a like go up and then square off. Nothing too crazy, like old spooky mansion style roof. You've seen me use them before if you're an old viewer. Hang this music's going off right now. Okay, two extra stacks should be enough. Thought you could fall on me, swine. How about you? Oh, I'm stupid. I was like, where is the rest of my scaffolding? And I just realized that they're up here because I wanted to stand up here while I AFK'd and let the trees grow. But I didn't do that much today. Now that I've got that, let's see what we can do with our roofing materials on the side of this house. House farm, you know the deal. And you know what? Let's get a unique perspective. Let's try out a time lapse. All right, there we have it. The roof is done. That actually wasn't that hard. I'm excited to see what this looks like from afar or just from the time-lapse view, but I won't see that until I edit the video. So we're gonna assume that it just looks passable at, at the worst. Uh, we could kind of get a decent view from this angle, I guess. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. It doesn't look out of place. It doesn't look disproportionate i know with my mansion in my other world it looked a little weird but you know we're gonna keep building this out and going in different directions with it and yes don't worry we will build up now this section will be interesting because i'm going to make a change in here and actually use dark oak stairs for the roof in here thought process behind this decision is going to be once this is not a farm anymore i can use it to grow other things or i can use it as a decorative room down the line now i'm gonna break the mold and just use normal oak wood right here i might need to use stairs in this spot i don't know what would be right you know what? let's just use stairs for that it's not gonna make a huge difference it's one small thing that i can change out in the future if i want it's like this room up so i a get crops and b don't get monsters spawning in here also so you can see while you're watching the video that's probably useful for the viewers too. pick up these lovely little oak tree saplings and and can't forget can't forget bone meal this so i can get oh look at it grew sweet now honestly this tree should be enough to fill out that roof i'm not going to do anything crazy I'm just going to have those stairs like that. And then where the gaps are in the roof right now, I'm going to put slabs because, you know, it's, it's a good look. It's an underrated. Well, it's not underrated, but it's a simple look that gets overlooked a lot. And I need to watch this like a hawk because I only have two other saplings. And yes, there is a dark oak forest right over there. I don't really want to walk all the way down the mountain until I have my elevator. I'm going to try and minimize trips down the mountain because it is quite annoying oh look at that we already got one. Oh wait i just picked it up uh, let's get some more torches while we're waiting here thank you let's go put our saplings down in here and i see one right there and let's make sure there's all the debris picked up right here thank you make some more torches there's that good to go that's over here hello hello another sapling for moi i think that might be it for that one but that's okay we don't need that much we just need enough to make wood planks and then slabs oh wait look at that i was like wait that's a lot but no that actually isn't now nah, that's a lot of slabs i'm curious if i should put like any access from down here up there but i don't think i should and if i need to i can always add it later the thought process behind that is that if i can get away with it then i'll avoid it but if i'm going in between here and down there a lot it, it's just gonna it, it'll make more sense just to make access there we go that should be good for 
me and let's plant a little boop right there just so I can get this started. And actually, I'm going to do it on this side. Okay, we're going to place that there. There we go. Now I can get it going. Thought process here is that, well, I can cover out this whole, thought I heard something, but I can cover out this whole roof like this and just put some stairs here because who's going to use these? The one-off stair up here, not going to be an issue. And I think that the way that this roof is laid out, I should not get monsters up here, but I'm going to place one over there. And one over here just in case because you never know with this game and there we go it it doesn't look weird it doesn't look great i i'm fine with it and if i want to change it i can but i do like the way that it kind of goes up and gives us a little extra room in here so that we have that room to put our farms up on a not a pedestal but you know something up here now i'm gonna go ahead and start laying out the plots for the farms deciding on whether i should go this way with them or this way with them because either way I can have a good amount of farms or either way I can have a good amount of crops it's just how do I want to do it because if I place say if I place you know these right here like this and then I place that like that with actually I could well no actually forget that I can do all of these down like this okay okay I think I'm gonna get my design I could do all of these like this, put some dirt here, and then fill this with water, and then just do like a mini version right here. Oh, no, I can do this a uh, long way. Long way? Parallel? No. Uh, well, because I'm going to put the thing that I grow the least here, but it really doesn't matter. So potatoes are, you know what? We're just going to do that. Oh, <laughs> I apologize for that sound. I have no idea where that came from. That was not a bean and sponsored sound. That was me being possessed by a duck all right and let's see how much dirt i have i don't know if it's gonna be enough but it'll be close and my thought process is wow i've been saying that a lot the last few clips i'm sorry but my hope is there we go my hope is that by doing this and waterlogging this slab i can just mitigate the dripping i don't know if it does that still or i don't know if it does that through slabs but you know what we're about to find out if it does then who cares because i mean it's going to be right above this so there's not really much to complain about if it's dripping on my sugar cane if anything it'll add to detail in terms of particle effects going to create a temporary water source right here because i don't know if i can create an infinite water source with waterlogged slabs but it looks like my hunch was correct and we cannot so i'm just gonna waterlog all of these make sure that we have access to the water and then cover them with well actually now that i have spruce i could cover them with spruce trap doors that ah, doesn't matter i'm gonna have to walk on them anyway let's just cover it up right now so we can just get through that and then cover this up i'll probably grow carrots over here and then potatoes and wheat on either side i know it's supposed to be you know a lot more but i don't think it's gonna make a difference like i'm not struggling for food i'm not worried about food and i am surely not wanting to get a ton of food because what happens is you end up with what happened in my back to beta days world where i had literal minecraft silos filled with carrots and potatoes that i just wasn't eating because I had so much wheat that I couldn't get through it. Or if I just did one harvest, I'd eat that like food. Grabbing some potatoes and carrots because we need those. Now the carrots are useful. I might swap out which one I plant more. Oh, that's the wrong way. I might swap out which one I plant more of down the line because carrots are really good for golden carrots. But when I'm starting out and want to get a good source of food and like a solid just backlog of food, I'm going to use potatoes for the baked potato and there we go it's not amazingly pretty it's not anything crazy technological it's just a little farm which i think is good i like it now before we wrap things up for today let's see if i can get a composter there you are okay you're all just that and let me get another one let me get some chest i think you guys know where this is going i'll need one two three four shut up siri all right that's good enough but essentially what i'm going to do is make a automatic bone meal farm and this one i will actually put in this hallway oh whew. where will i put it you know i can put it right here yep right in this hallway because 
Eh, why not? <laughs> I'm gonna be coming out of here. Um, okay, so that will go there. Then a hopper will go up here. It's just something that's gotta be basic. I don't need anything crazy right now. But I did say I'd be making an automatic bone meal farm. The hopper, we'll need two of you. And I guess I made, oh, nope, nope, I made the right amount. There we go. One chest up here. And then we can throw all the junk in there. And this will also help because when I'm down here, I won't have to make anything ridiculous in order to farm my tree farm. I will have to bring it back up. And I will need to, you know, I'll have to bring it back up if I want to bone meal that. But for now, I'm really only going to use bone meal on trees. I don't know why I made two composters. Uh, we'll hold on to it. Now we can finally dispose of all this junk in here. Well, it's not really junk, but we can put it down because I don't need to keep wheat seeds. Oh, but I do need to keep pumpkin seeds. You go, you, you go back up here. And there we have it. A lovely little farm. I moved it up and I kind of combined it into one area instead of spreading it out. And I think we have a little bit more uh, blockage than we do, than we did right here. So we might get a little more. We've got an automatic bone meal farm, which is already doing its thing, which will be great for tree farming. See, I I'm thinking things through now, okay? I may not think things through on a survival front, but I'm thinking things through on a resources front. We come down here and we have the sugar cane that's already ready to harvest. So let's harvest the first of the sugar cane from under here. We can also get a good view. Well, it's raining, so we probably won't be able to do that, but we can get a good view of this from the outside. Um, and it'll probably end up being our thumbnail. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new. I post videos on Monday and Saturday every week and random videos in between. Until next time, this has been a Minecraft Let's Play. I'm Beanin, peace.